everyone. Welcome back to Killer7, and then welcome to Killer8, which is what we're doing now. Like I said last time, we finished the game, we finished Killer7, we got all the way through it, and because of that, we unlock a new mode, going from 7 to 8, but what could Killer8 mean? Well, I did mention that it was going to be about playing on a new, harder difficulty. <laughs> called Bloodbath. It says a new personality will awaken. What is this personality? Let's find out now. We're going into chapter one, Angel. And we are not wasting time. We've already gone through the entire game, of course. So, want to see how fast we can actually go through this. We can't skip the moon scenes. Like, these scenes right here where we're seeing the moon. For some reason, they're, they're unskippable. But most cutscenes are skippable. Like that one. This is not skippable, skippable when it tells us what our mission is. Assignment number 33, destroy the Heaven Smile headquarters and capture the chief alive. Well, we do kill all the Heaven Smiles in the Celtic building. But Kunlan does get away. Don't know what Mills was thinking, actually assigning us to try to capture Kun Lan. Obviously, we were not going to be able to do that. We don't know that when we first play the game, but we know that now. It's not like we were actually going to be able to take the guy away in handcuffs. Anyway, what is the new personality? The new personality is Harmon Smith. And not old Harmon Smith, but it's the young one, the one that we spoke to in um, at the top of the the Union Hotel, the one who was from Amy or Park Reiner's past. Just noticed Celtic apartment. This is an apartment building. It's a really fancy one. You think you think about what the top of this building is like? That enormous room with the throne in it. What kind of apartment building is this? Well, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that we're going to just run by Iwazuru, run by Harmon's room. Did I go into Harmon's room? I think I might have gone into... Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. I have no reason to be in here. Let's get out of here. What am I doing? We're going to get out of here. Since we have now awoken young Harmon Smith and his Tommy gun, and it is a very powerful gun, as you will see, because we're going to run across this lobby. Iwazuru is going to be here. So is our first heaven smile. And very powerful gun so he has a tommy gun and you might notice that we can't actually see the weak points on these heaven smiles so that's one reason that this mode is so hard we can't actually see the weak points at all they're completely invisible but Harmon Smith does have a tommy gun and you might remember that when we walked into that forbidden room at the top of the Union Hotel, and Kun Lan and old Harmon Smith got shot up. Well, it kind of sounded like that, didn't it? I mentioned Garcian does not have a machine gun, but uh, this guy certainly does. However, his gun cannot actually, I don't think it can hit that weak point, so we are going to have to switch to Dan. And since we killed that Camellia Smile, we're filled on thin blood, so you know how this goes. We've done it many times. One, two, three. Collateral shot. No, I didn't want to switch to Khan. Why would I want to do that? Well, he's fast. Let's just, I guess we can use him for right now. <laughs> You can see how powerful the Heaven Smiles are using Khan's gun in comparison to Young Harmon's. That Tommy gun takes them out in a lot less bullets. Get that soul shell and go the other way. So, Killer 8. It's mostly about using Young Harmon and powering your way through the game as him. Yeah, I don't, I mean, you could use the other personalities. You could. I don't know if you'd really want to before you've had the chance to power them up with blood. Uh, Harmon Smith, he does not actually gain any new abilities or anything. I don't think he even has a counterattack. He just has one thing and one thing only, and that's his obscenely powerful Tommy gun. And that's all he needs, really. He doesn't need anything else. 
And you might be wondering, is there a story reason that we're using Young Harmon here? I think the answer is no. I don't. Th I'm pretty sure there is not a story reason for why we're doing this. Anyway, here's this guy who gets blowed up, and we're gonna skip that. This is just, you know, for fun. Just here's some replay value for this game. Let's kill that corn pops right there. Got that weak point. Hear what he said? He says, touche. Because he's a classy man. He's a classy man with his classy gun. So he says, touche, when, when he hits a weak point, which we won't hear too much of since we're not aiming for weak points, since we can't see them. Sometimes we'll get some criticals, but it probably will not be very often. Yeah, there we go. Just get this guy. <laughs> Something else you might notice right here. The levels go a lot faster in this game when you're not actually talking to Iwazaru or Travis or watching cutscenes. Or talking to Yun Yun right here, or and getting hints, hints from the True Mask. When you're not doing those things, game goes a lot faster. So, oh, actually, one cutscene we cannot skip for some reason is when Kes Bloody Sunday tells us things, which is weird because we can skip pretty much everything else except him. He's the only one who is unskippable. I don't know why that is. But every cutscene with Kes Bloody Sunday is unskippable. You can skip everyone else. You can skip Wazer, you can skip Travis, you can skip Susie when she gives you the rings. Kes, you cannot. And of course, we're going to skip the carrier pigeons and most of Harmon's rooms, as we don't need to do those. We know what all the carrier pigeons say. I'll probably just go into the last Harmon's room of this level to drop off whatever blood I have. But we're not going to try to max out blood or anything here. Oh wait, I don't, I don't need to go in there. I don't have the fire ring yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. I wonder what the true mask thinks about that. Does he still think we're the loser now? We're the world's biggest loser? Because Harmon Smith is tearing the path through these heaven smiles. Library, books blocking our way. Uh, the only thing that can defeat the gun, books. But the only thing that can defeat books are odd engravings. And that's what we're going to get. But what, what do we need to get odd engravings? We need rings. And there's someone here who can give us the ring. We're gonna turn this off. And here's Sue's. Here she comes. Thanks. And there she goes. And off we go. <laughs> and we will need Coyote to get through this. Because as powerful as Harmon is, again, he doesn't have any abilities. He's just put an enemy in front of him, and he will kill it. And if it comes down to special moves, or unlocking things like this, uh, I'm sorry. He can't help you with that. But that is why we have other Personae, isn't it now? Equip that ring, change back to Harmon. <laughs> so I suppose the ultimate challenge for this game is if you wanted to play through Killer 8 without using Young Harmon. And that would be very difficult if you wanted to do that. A much harder than this candle puzzle is, in which we have to go one, two, three, four, five. 
It's much harder than that puzzle if you decided to play through Killer Ray using Young Harmon. I'm sorry, without using Young Harmon is what I mean to say. Because with, with Young Harmon, it doesn't even really matter that you can't see the weak points. He shoots through everyone and tears through them so quickly. And you saw how many bullets it took to kill these guys when I tried it with Khan. It took a lot more bullets. So if you actually wanted to give that a try, that, that would be tough. It would be tough to do. Now I have the fire ring. Now we can run across here and go into the bathroom. Now I shouldn't really say I shouldn't really give off the indication that killer raid is easy, even if you are using Harmon. It's easier. It makes it much more possible to actually get through it, but it doesn't mean you're invincible. Flush that toilet toilet flushed. Toilet flushed. Odd engraving. Ejected. Well, oh, one thing I should mention is that in addition to being tougher, Heaven Smiles do a lot more damage if they explode on you. <laughs> For most characters, I think they can kill anyone in one explosion. So getting caught by one is instant death. Uh, young Harmon can take two, I think. He can, he can take two explosions. You know, he, he'll take one explosion and not die. The second explosion will kill him, is what I am trying to say. So that leads to an extra layer of danger when you're playing without Harmon Smith, is that any character could get killed in one hit. So, you know, if you think about enemies like the Roller Smiles or the Broken Smiles and how quickly and easily they could just kill you. Oh, and we don't we also don't get to carry that much thin blood in this mode. I think we max out at five things of thin blood, whereas previously it was ten and we use thin blood to heal ourselves if we need it. So... So that's not a great thing. <laughs> and of course, we could get Mask out to blow up the wall, but we're not going to do that. We're going to run through, because all that's in that wall is a carrier pigeon, and there's Travis. And as much as we like to talk to Travis, we don't need to do it now. Same thing with the Wazaru. We can just walk by... He descends on his bungee cord with something he has to tell us, and we just completely ignore him. We are very rude, I know, but we got things we gotta do. Enemies to kill, floors to climb, could lawns to talk to, and like this girl has an appointment to be exploded, but we're not gonna see it because we're gonna skip that scene, and we're just gonna run by. Camellia Smiles is very easy, though. You might notice I don't even have to go try to aim for a weak point. It's just shoot them a bit and they'll die. Anyway, I have to get Kayede out because I need... I need her wrists, her blood, as we know what, we know what that does. She slashes her wrist. It summons Mizaru. And finger guns... And the wall is down. Barrier destroyed. I wonder if other people can see the barriers. Is it just a mental barrier for the Killer 7? A spiritual barrier, if you will. 
No, I guess not, because Johnny Gagnon, in one of his letters, said that he saw Kaede slit her wrist and it collapsed the wall. So he was able to see it. It's a, those walls are a physical thing that exists in the real world. <laughs> and we're going to run by the clue. The how soon is now line on the wall, because we know what the combination is. The combination is N-O. This ISZK produced lock, very secure. We know all about them now. We know all about that company. When we started this game, that those four letters meant nothing. But now we know all about them and their love of dried food. I was trying to get as much blood as possible, then probably what I'd want to do is like shoot off the head and shoot off limbs, because you do get a bit of blood for doing that. Even if I'm not able to get criticals. But I mean, when I'm playing as young Harmon Smith, how much blood do I actually need? All right, you know who it is. You know what time it is. It's time to talk to the gatekeeper. Give him these soul shells. He lets us through. Harmon Smith is not impressed with Rayvon. And now we know where this Coliseum is that we're in right now. This place that we get, we keep getting teleported to. We know that it's on Battleship Island. As, as for why we keep getting sent here, I could not say. I mean, Iwazaru said that the Gatekeeper is protecting Kunlan, so I can only assume that the Gatekeeper is sending us here to put an obstacle in our way, which is the mid-boss smile in the hopes that we will be killed by it, so we will not be able to reach our goal. Anyway, speed smile. Strategy here really isn't going to be any different from when I fought it with Khan. I'm just going to shoot at it with this gun and just keep shooting. I know where its weak spot is. I think it's always the same. It's in its mouth. And even if I... There we go. I was about to say, even if I don't hit it, the gun's powerful enough that I can just keep shooting at it and it's going to die before it reaches me. weird how this is a character. Hold on, let's go into Harmon's room. I think this is going to be the last one, and I'm going to drop off some blood. Not necessarily need to use it or anything, it's just want to drop it off before I end the level, just in case if I need to use it to power up some other characters later on. Like I said, we can't use it on Harmon. But I was about to say it's funny that Harmon Smith, young Harmon Smith, such seems like such an important character, such a mysterious character, a character who's so important to Garcian, Amir Park Reiner, and uh, yet a character we only saw this very short scene with, and yet he's a character that we get to play as in the bonus mode. And no, the bonus mode is not going to tell us anything new about Harmon Smith. That's not what this is about. This is just about playing with a new character. Giving the game some replayability is what this is all about. So no new revelations will be found in Killer 8. Just a new challenge. And it's going to change us back to Garcian. No enemies here for us to fight, though. Here's Travis. Goodbye. We're going to turn left because when we do that, we skip a scene with Kess where he tells us about uh, the next boss, Angel. 
let's just head in and fight Angel. Here we go. Gonna transform into old Harmon with Samantha. She's gonna push him along, but we're not gonna see it. Here's Angel. We're not gonna see her either. Here we go. Gonna shoot those wings. Give me those wings. Shoot those angel wings. She's completely invincible except for the wings. Maybe she should wear armor over the wings, because it's a weak point. Then she'd be invincible. You think you killed me? Better think again. <laughs> And we hear Kunlan's voice speaking. That's his face on Angel's back. The wings were coming out of Kunlan's faces, which are on her back for some reason. It's weird. I don't know. I mean, I guess technically she's a heaven smile, though like the queen of these heaven smiles in the building. So she's an, an advanced form of it. And that means that she is a creation of Kunlan like the others. Look how much missing there was. It's disgraceful, Harmon. So much missing. Let's do better. Huh. I know I can do better than that. There we go. That was close. Almost missed. And one more face to go. There we go. It's, uh, which one is this? Is this the exit? Well, I can't see. The one that has the camera on it is the entrance. Okay, so that one doesn't have the camera. So that's the exit on the other side of the room. Now, as we go through the door, young Harmon is going to transform into old Harmon. Are these two the same people, but different ages? I guess that's up to you to interpret. All right, let's do this thing. And like I said, if this is supposed to be an apartment building, it's a very impressive top floor, isn't it? Can't get it up. We shot Kunlan. Now he appears in the chair. And they have the conversation, but we're not going to see it. Because we got shooting to do. We got to shoot that god hand of his. Right? Missed. Right? There. Angel complete. Done. How many heaven smiles did we kill? <laughs> the perfect number. So, that's what Killer 8 mode is all about. We're going to be rushing through this game. Ignoring Travis, ignoring Iwazaru, ignoring any hints and help people want to tell us as we play as young Harmon Smith and his trusty Tommy gun as he rushes through this game on our quest to kill the past once again with Killer 8. I'm going to save and we are going to come back. Oh, are my save games gone? Because I'm pretty sure I had save games. Yep, I don't see him here. What happened? I don't know. Um... Wait, that doesn't make sense, because I just loaded this game. No, I didn't load a game. I I guess the config file for the game must have saved, because I started up the emulator, and Killer8 mode is here. You can see it. We were playing it. But I do not see any saved games. I'm going to save a game right here, and hopefully that's going to be saved next time I load this to play the next level of Killer8, because I, I, that's weird to me. I mean, it's. I guess I don't need those old saves anymore. 
If there was a time that something was going to go wrong and all my saves were going to get erased, I guess finishing the game was the time for that, because I don't need those saves now. Uh, hopefully it retains this save, I hope. And assuming it does, next time round, we're going to be going to Target 01 Sunset as we continue on with Killer 8. I'll see you next time for that. The Smith Syndicate incident is legendary now. There are plenty of fictionalized accounts of it, and as time has passed, we are now unsure exactly what is fact and what is fiction. By this point, even those who were there when it happened probably feel the same way. Maybe the least trustworthy thing is reality, doesn't that seem right? In today's world, I think that makes most sense. As far as I am concerned, fiction seems true and it dazzles my eyes.